told it was one of the boys um, was thrown from the car and that the car had landed on top of them and I just, I just cried and I felt so bad for, for the, those parents. I felt so bad what they must be going through that, that a car landed on their child. found out that it was my baby that the car landed on. <laughs> and that was so hard. So hard. And the hardest part of my job dealing with this is after we clean up the accident is the fact that we have to go and knock on somebody's door tell somebody's parents that you're not coming home. And as a parent, as a parent, you think you worry your whole life about that knock at the door. Your whole life you worry about that. <laughs> and we got that knock at the door. And I'll never forget it. I'll never forget those words. She was in an accident, and then she didn't make it. Um, last night, there was a few kids that were here that I smelled alcohol on them, and I'm not here to judge about that at all. You know, maybe that's what people had to do to cope. Um, but I have to send the message that. Um, if people are going to continue to drink, um, you know, please don't, please don't drive, you know, because she, she would be here today and none of us would be going through this pain. Um, and also to keep in mind that when you do drink, your judgment gets impaired as to who you ride in the car with. Um, Kelly had an incident Friday night where she was with someone in a car that had been drinking. She had told me about it Saturday night, um, how scared she was, and then she wanted out of the car because the person could not drive. And um, I know that had she not been drinking Saturday night, she would have never gotten in the car with, with someone that was driving. It could have easily been Kelly driving that car. It could have easily been her. So I don't, like someone had said, I, I don't want her to death to be for nothing and for those of you who loved her to please think about her the next time you think about taking that drink and the next time you think about getting in a car and knowing who you're in the car with no no and of course everyone thinks when they're drinking that they can drive and that's part of the insanity of alcohol it makes you think that and we know today that that's not true